Z, Y, X. Who cares? <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> Everyone drinking? Yeah. Anyone got no drink drink going on? Woo! <laughs> I think I've been drinking a little too much lately, and like the reason I'm getting that is because like I'm realizing that as a 21 year old boy, man, whatever. It's funny. Anyways, as a 23 year old dude, I've realized that like I shouldn't look like I'm three and a half months pregnant. <laughs> it cakes once in a while. But uh, me and alcohol, it's, it's a real love-hate relationship between us. Because like, I love the way it makes me feel, but I hate the way it makes me act. I don't mean that as I'm gonna, I get drunk and I'm like, I'm gonna go kill someone. No, it's like I think of like weird shit in my head that I wouldn't think of normally. Like a couple weeks ago, I was downtown. I just left the bar, and I saw this girl. She's wearing a little, like, little dress, and she's wearing heels and everything. And like, the best way I can, just, can describe her is she was bangable. Like, I would definitely bang her. <laughs> and uh, the only bad thing about this girl was that she was throwing up. <laughs> and like, sober Josh would have saw that and be like, oh my god, get me away from her. But drunk Josh was walking. And was like. Man, really wish I had a Listerine strip to get her. <laughs> I don't even know if they make Listerine strips anymore. But my thought process was, I'm going to give it to her. She's going to take it as a romantic, romantic gesture. And I'll probably still get a hand ski by the end of the night. <laughs> but uh, girls, I think you don't take that. Like, you guys don't realize how much guys do for you. Because, like, I was going to give her, if I had a Listerine strip, I would have gave it to her. Like, I've never seen a girl on the street see me throwing up, like, hey, Becky, give me a list of things, Chip. I'm gonna go blow him. <laughs> I wish it happened like that. That would be awesome. But that's just not how it works. But, uh, speaking of, like, drunk girls, like, I can, I can tolerate most of them, except for a crying drunk girl. If you're a girl and you're crying and you're drunk, get away from me. Because I won't have anything to do with you. I can't stand you. Like, and you just are crying loud enough to where everyone can hear you, like, in a court, and you're like, <laughs> I just wish I could find Tara. And if I could find her, I could just have a thing to be with you. You just, and I could just have to tell you, I just want to be with you. But really, I want to let you guys know the only thing worse than a crying drunk girl is. When I cry drunk, which is like all the time, I'll get drunk and I'm like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do you guys want to talk about now? <laughs> I brought up weed, so let's talk about that. Anyone smoke? So you guys know exactly like how the munchies can be the death of you. Uh, like I'm telling you, the munchies are going to be pre like month four and five of my pregnancy. And because no man should be able to eat two yeast donuts, a bowl of Fruit Loops, a microwaved piece of Christmas ham, and a pear, and go straight to sleep. <laughs> On a side note, if you're wondering, the next morning I did take a disgusting poop, and I have a picture of it. If you want to find me after the show, I'll show you. <laughs> I can't wait to see many people come up to me. But uh, I do, I enjoy smoking weed, because like, it expands my mind. It makes my mind go places it would never go before. And it like, helps me figure out stuff about myself. Like, I was high, and I realized I could never make a sex tape. Because, like, I don't think I could rise to the occasion. Or, like, uh, like I don't think I could get lifted. I don't think I could get my dick hard. <laughs> He's looking at me like, rise to the occasion, dude. He's got to be in front of a camera. It's not that big of a deal. But, uh, 
the main reason I can't make a sex tape is because I know somehow, some way, my mom will see that. And, uh, and uh, I was pointing at the light, not at no one else. Don't, uh, but, and like if she sees it, I know she'll like sit down with like a pad and paper. She's not like your mom. She's not going to like, ooh, there's my son. No, my mom's going to take notes and call me after she sees it. Hey, sweetheart, I saw your tape and uh, it was decent. It was decent. I'd like to give you some pointers though. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm okay, mom. I don't really need to hear that. And she's like, honey, all I'm telling you is that you need to pelvic thrust through the girl and not into it. It's what your father does, and I absolutely love it. And I'm like, Pam, shut your damn mouth. I don't want to hear about you and dad. And anyways, that's my time, guys. I'm Josh Howard. <laughs>